Hello everyone, welcome back to Channel One. We're playing some more Dragon Hunter. We just can't stay away. This de deck felt super smooth and super strong yesterday. And you think you went, what, five and one or something like that? It was a pretty yeah, it was, good. It was in that region. It's um, definitely a very high win percentage deck. It feels like it's very, very well placed in the meta right now. It's quite good at removing minions on the board which is a really, really good position to be in when you're facing down a lot of Demon Hunters. You don't want that trap either. Keep the or why not? I mean, it's not yeah. the worst. It's a three mana removal of a guy. It's pretty understated. Uh, we've never found Zigsaw Prime. No, but never. Will, and never. I'm sure he'll do something. Well, at least of the two secrets, I would rather have that one in my hand. Yeah. I think Freezing Trap is one of those secrets that you have to play it when it's good on a board. Whereas mm. pack tactics, you can play and largely leave. Because worst case, it's a 3-3 three, three that you've paid for in the past. Yeah. So it just helps you keep a little bit of board control. Whereas Freezing Trap, the opponent can play an optimal way around it. Yes. As you saw in some of our old games, uh, or in the last video, you can you can swing it with a one mana card that you can then play again that turn. Like You don't lose anything. Really. Are we doing nothing um, here? Into a coin Zixor if we don't draw anything else. With no dragons, yeah, it's not even like it's a coin Stormhammer. Um, I wonder. Yeah. You're going to have to. That's a lot of big This is a challenge. We were just bigging up this deck and look at the hand we've drawn. Well, okay, let's, let's review why some of this is bad. <laughs> There's no early game stuff to play. And also, we've pulled. Pieces that are payoff pieces for other cards. Stormhammer. Pack tactics. There's another Stormhammer. Um, yeah, you can at least eat one. That was the reason. Wow. So the plus side is it's Spell Mage. Yeah. We which got this for I free. don't think it's going to have good healing at all. So in theory. If we could have gone to this board explosively, I don't know how they deal with it. The cool. downside is we haven't gone to the board explosively, and as a consequence... We're rubbish. That's just more garbage. We can't even play that. Yeah, you're going to have to storm hammer, and you're going to have to eat the noughts too. Garbage. It feels garbage, man. man. <laughs> this is... He has a stronger minion on board than we have, and he's playing... Spell mage. Some kind of weird spell mage. Like, that's, that's just tech. That shadow either. That's anti-demon hunter tech. Yeah, essentially. If you can't attack, you can't get any of your draw a secret, it costs zero. Brilliant. I would have liked that. That would have been nice. What do you reckon that secret is? Ooh, flame water. It's not <sighs> no, I reckon it's ice barrier. Well, we've finally seen Zixor Prime. Lovely, and we can't play it. This is going horrifically. Uh yeah, I think you're going to have to do that. You're probably going to have to eat that guy as well. Swing in first with your face. Eat his guard. Okay. Yeah, face stalker. Right, it's not mirror entity, but I don't know why it would be. Right. It's not. It's not. That's okay. It's not going to be vaporized. That's absolutely fine. Spellbender, unlikely. It's most likely Ice Barrier, I think. Because that's the one you would play... On what three? You can just single target this, right? What is this deck? Highlander Spell Mage? That's not a thing. What is? What are we playing here? What are I we playing? Don't I don't know, but it seems like that could be good for us. We don't, we have, the don't dragon. have a dragon! How has that... How has this happened? Um, you don't have enough mana to Dragon Bane ping here. Playing our pack tactics is pretty garbage. <laughs> I've got my head horrible. in my hands. What is going on? I think you're going to have to storm hammer, kill Zephyrus, ping him, or uh, maybe pack tactics because next Just turn to get we it might dragon out of bait. our hand. Just to get it I gone. Think, well, and also you might dragon bait next turn. And on six he could so, Reno. I'm not, not sure why that's a consideration, but yeah. I mean, he's not going to Reno now. Oh, we can oversee, hasn't it? Okay, sorry. Allow me to correct my, my earlier statement. It's Highlander Dragon Spell Mage. So it's actually running its own middle mirror images. 
what am I witnessing? Oh, good. I'm glad we pulled that one drop on turn six. And also, Dragon Bay's rubbish now, and Rottenness is still not on. Um, <laughs> I think the plan is still to drop the Dragon Bane, but I think you eat one of the Nought Twos first with your face. Just for something. I mean, at some point. Can oh, I kill three come fights? on! Oh, oh my god! Oh, if he blows this 3-5 out, just Ew. with like one spell, I, I might cry. I actually might cry. After we started... Yes! Yes! Two Dragon Banes! Okay, well that's good. What do you have that removes both of them? Because I feel like you must have predicted that was a thing. That's... Uh, Alright. Whiff. Yes. Whiff. You can ping that's one now. Oh, he's got yeah, a dragon. Make a... So you can ping one. Has he got uh, the spell one mana deal two? Or oh, like frost Frostbolt. Or Ray of Ray frost. frost. Ray of Frost. That'll do it. Okay, so the good news for us here is uh, nothing is online and we can't play Zix or Prime. Oh, okay, so Rottenness is now online. We That's roll the good dice news. With you are going to have to roll it out. What else are you going to do here? Come on. Finally! Yes! Uh, Pagan? This kills the 3 2? Yeah, that trades. I think drop it. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, the fact that we aren't doing any damage to him yeah, is horrible. Madness. We've you used can't up... even threaten his life toll. We've used up Dragon Bane to kill a 0 2. Stormhammer twice, mostly to kill 0 2s. Yeah, it's not gone well. Okay. Another Ray yeah. of Frost. No, that's the one from his deck. What's your thing? Can you imagine if it's actually like if it's flame ward up? Well, he's got he's got two secrets up now, so it'd be flame ward and but, barrier. So attack him. I mean, what's the downside? Ice barrier. Yeah, I actually no. want the other one to be flame ward. Then we'd have to play around other secrets. Uh, flame ward. Out yeah, of the way. lovely. That's absolutely fine. Okay, uh, so six or prime. Let's have a look at what it does. Three copies of the summon minion. three. Okay, so you so end up with the board. four four fours, and it dies if he has flame strike. But if he yes. doesn't have flame strike, then we're the, all right, right? The alternative is Felmore. That's way worse. That's all way worse. I think I think we have to do this. I think he has two cards in hand. So he's gonna have three cards. How many cards left in his deck? Seventeen in a Highlander deck. He's yeah. used his effort. Yeah, he's got it! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is happening? What is happening right now? Oh, uh, play out the wealth, yeah. There's no secrets we, left. I, I think just, yeah, play both, yeah. Potential for 10 damage to the face. What is happening? What am I witnessing? It's like the anti channel one curse this guy has. I don't okay. understand. Yeah, of course. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just casual. Oh man, he was right. that one okay. <laughs> And he can kill our guy for free. We are playing. Uh, you know, if it were possible, I feel like this guy's hacking. I, I can't. I can't find an alternative solution. Um, so you can't even face talk a ping because it pulls out freezing trap. Um, you ping yeah. him, he just makes six sixes. Yeah. I don't want a gold. That gold boar <laughs> is like was... a kick in the teeth. <laughs> that was unreal. I'll tell you what, if you liked how that game went for that person, do two things. One, like and subscribe to the channel. And two, immediately stop watching this video because how could you not support us in our time of need? Mm. That was unreal. That was... That was awful. I feel, I feel hard done by. That's the only way to. This to hand, put it. That however, was the one out. That was his one out. Yes. And can I, I point know. out the other card in his hand was Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. And it's <laughs> out. So even even if he didn't have Flame Strike, the perfect answer, he still had a roll the dice answer. Against Warrior. Okay, so Egg Warrior, we're assuming. Um, they don't seem to be running eggs anymore, but. Uh, I played you... against one earlier on the ladder today. Oh, really? It beat me. <laughs> oh. Just to beat that deck. Uh, I think you play the sharpshooter. Quickly, 
uh, because we don't have a fell wing in hand. If you have a fell wing in hand, blazing mm. Mage is great because with a ping you can just play the the fell wing. But chances are next turn we're probably just going to play the fairy dragon. So why not have something that can ping off any of his one drops, any of his like one mana pirates or anything like that, just stop it being a problem. I think yeah, that seems sensible. And just swing ahead. He's got a weapon up. It's fine. Well, it's turn three for either of them, I think. Yeah, you sort of just don't want to see Anchor. I think Lackeys are probably a little bit worse against our deck. Time to just this uh, is a little awkward. Yeah, I think you do that. Why it's, it's just still least... convenient to do so. Face Dog is a good literally call. literally always that. We haven't hit Zixor. Yeah, you is definitely it... play more on the board. Yeah, there's no downside to it. What's he realistically going to do about it? Uh, he can eat something with a weapon. He then doesn't have any extra mana to play lackeys if it's lackeys. He can't play any of the pirates he pulls if it's, if it's anchor. Mm. We can start getting sizable chunks of this board on it's our side. It's anchor. Okay, so anchor's really good. And that's continual value. What it means is we essentially just now just have to pour everything. We have to blast. Board. Yeah. So why do we draw the secret? Really, it's just... I'll tell you what's super frustrating is that's the secret you want to play. I think we're just gonna have to play, play the secret. No, I think just play the secret. And swing at him. I know it's more value to to, um, to ping him. Extra couple but of points really of damage. You really don't want freezing trap here when he's gonna try and move someone with his face. Mm. See now has to yeah. See he can't just attack something. He wants to pull a pirate out to have an answer. Um, I think that was a better move from us. Just keeps it keeps the board, and the board is essential. What's odd is playing risky skipper. Yeah, that means yes. If you're going to play risky skipper, you do three damage then, to yeah. this. But then why would you not also pull out our guy? Because you could have attacked our five six, mm. and if you can do, uh, okay. Well, that's fine. You can't pump that yet. Got to make sure it dies. He's out of mana. And we're going into a rot nester. Oh, come on! Well, that's okay, because you can um, hit your... Probably your... 2-1 into his 1. 2? Yeah, that two. seems fine to me. Yeah, I think rather than lower the health on your 5-5, five, five, and then just rot nest his guy off. It's really important for them to not have any damage moves on the board. Swing at him, great. Uh, because they can copy them really easily and yeah. that one's a horrible one to get copied because they can rampage it then copy it and it becomes like a six nine or something like that slap into the or oh, whatever it's horrible well it's i guess it, it becomes a four something he's playing the board he had to pay full value well not quite full value but he had to yeah, pay so big they money copy for that, that as well. um Zixor mm. doesn't quite kill it, unfortunately. No. Uh, you probably. The question is, do you play Zixor Prime? Don't attack anything. Play Freezing Trap. And then he can he can kill your Rot Nest, but he has to then. No, he can't kill your Rot Nest because Blood Brute won't. Well, he won't be able to play it next turn. There'll be nothing hmm. damaged on the board. I like that play, I think. Six or freezing trap. Yeah, I think it's fine. You don't care if Zixor dies, you're actually getting to the point where you want to pull out big Zixor. Um and just swing at him, yeah. I mean he's almost dead. Don't attack his gun. You could have pinged him there, I guess. Would have put him to almost death range. I'm sure people would have preferred that. But yeah, one this ping way, to dead. kill him. This way it leaves us something on board uh, that can overtake the fact he can gain armor. I know it's really unlikely he gets his board back, but... Okay. Corcoran. So you can clear the board. He get freezing trap, remember? <clears throat> yeah, 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 but he can't, so he can't clear the board. board. Which is why I liked playing two minions. Because we know that he could have had ways of killing one guy. Mm. And then if he can kill it with for spells or low mana or whatever, and then still armor up, we don't have him dead. And then we're looking at top decking. Copy Whereas, the six two. He's got one mana uh, open. I don't know he's what got he's got. One mana, he can't do it. A conundrum. Even copying it doesn't work. Like, 
Oh, what to eat, bro? Yeah. If he can do it. Mm. You can't play three guys for zero mana, so. Swing at him, ping at him. Close out the game. Lovely. I do I do feel better winning, I must say. Ah, v v winning feels good. Hey, and I'll tell you what, if you liked that, yeah. that win, that victory, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and pat yourself on the back for not abandoning us After in our time of need. shameful Channel One Cursed draws. Um, but it, was, it wasn't even just bad draw like it was bad draws. So I'm not going yeah, yeah, yeah. to deny that. It was but the guy had the perfect but, answer. But the way, it was like I was being taunted, where someone was like, yeah, yeah, pal, come on, I'll let you just get a little bit more into the game. It's like, oh, but I have this. Like, oh, of course you do. Of course. So that's right. We won a game. We've worked out we only need, what, eight more wins than losses, and we're in the Oh, no, don't say up. it. I've mean, said say it now, it. on stream. You don't want that rotten ass, that's garbage. You probably don't want the Prime Order leader. You obviously well, want the Sharpshooters, nuts. Yeah. What kind of so hand do we get? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, this is average. Mediocre. Stormhammer is not great. Dragonbane is a six mana card. Not great. No dragons Dragon, dragon spells with no dragons. I'm seeing a theme to this video. Mm. <laughs> the thing it's is, one, this two, deck is actually four. quite good at drawing out of those. I don't, I don't want to make it look like the deck doesn't function in that sense. We got a really, really unlucky last time. Uh, this is the deck has dropped. very, very many copies of... Yeah, you just play that out. So, yeah. It's fine. It's a really, really good two-mana spell. Um, the deck has lots of ways of drawing out of that. So if you don't have the dragons, there's lots of dragons in the deck. If you don't have uh, beast synergies, there's also beasts in the deck. So there's, there's always ways of it not being a problem. You just have to get unlucky that you draw the wrong halves. Like drawing double... We're just going to play a Storm Hammer now. I think, yeah, and just swing at him. Just start wailing on him. It's also a shame. See, drawing that second Stormhammer there and being able to go to face without Dragon's Down is comfortable. It's fine. Mm. It's it's revived and redeemed if we also have a Felwing in hand. Yes. You see, there are just ways that this deck goes, that's a bad draw, but don't worry. And that's a bad draw, but don't worry. Hit him in the face. Uh. We haven't, we're yet to hit him, anyone in the face with that, with a minion on the board. Um, I think... No, I don't think you play that. Because you can coin and play it next turn. Or, no, you just coin and play big old, well, that's the best, that's the best. Play. Yeah, that is the and best. And then you thing. can swing at him as well. And Rock Nest is good. Oh, lovely, but it's not online. Well, because we just played we'll the another one. <laughs> but it turns corrosive breath on, so it should eat something else. Yes, that's true. And worst case, it's another way to keep our weapon alive. All right. So... That feels like not a turn. Which gets corrosive breathed immediately. Yep. And then you can Zixel Prime the 1-1 one, one off as well. Which I actually think is fine. He's not going to kill anything, surely. Oh. Come on! Alright, well at least That's outrageous. Zixel. That's fine. Zixel's fine. That's alright. And you've got a 5-5 five, five on board. I mean, that's hard to deal with. We're doing 10 damage next turn. Yeah, which is pretty it's good. Pretty... And we got Dragon Bane. So he's pulled out Range Caliber. Four to us, put a bomb in, armor up. That's he's not dead. Enough. He's, he's dead. It's not enough. It's he's... weird to want to go to five life against this deck anyway. Yeah. It's a really odd thing to do. He must have a really rubbish hand. Uh, yeah, you just do that. Ping him, kill him. Done. Clean. That was a clinical. That call. was a nice clean kill, wasn't it? That was absolutely horrific. That was the kind of thing where you watch it in the wild and you're like, it never stood a chance. Yeah. We, Poor kid. We really had that. I mean, you're saying our hand wasn't very good, and yet it still it drew itself out of all its problems. So I mean, it, it drew out a lot of our problems, but at the same time, look at what he played. I yeah. mean, that really must have been awful for him. He had the channel one kiss. Lot yeah, you play. Yeah, so other people also curse. It turns out, um, if you're playing Battle Rage with no damage minions on the board, yeah, your hand, your hand is is terrible. I mean, I can't, I, I can't undervalue that enough. Because even if you can play that card to draw two cards, you've actually drawn something. You've gained card mm. advantage. So it's almost always worth holding that spell for more than one draw. This is fine. I'm. Putting the old well yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you have selected is fine. I should have been clearer. You should oh, have been. Lovely. Yeah, Look I mean, that. in that last game, it's the third warrior in a row. 
Uh, the guy yeah, in the last game, well. on turn three, he used the the draw cards for each damage character, and he was the only damage character. His hand must have been garbage. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So he's he's drawn three. He's replaced that card with another card, but it's also cost him his turn. That's just that's when you look at your hand, and you go, "I'm not doing anything for a while." This is really strong. This if he drops good, a guy, it? you can corrosive breath it, hit him and Felwing. I know. Which puts as many stats onto the board as Dragon, as Fairy Dragon. No, he did amazing. nothing. Wow. That's interesting. We turn off our corrosive breath by dropping the dragon. Yeah, you do. Isn't that interesting? Well, I'm doing that. Oh. Um... Can he kill it? I think you play the fairy dragon out. There's more dragons. We've just discussed that there's more dragons. There's more dragons. It's the potential for more long-term damage. Um, and if you see another dragon now, you're really glad about it. If you don't see another dragon for the rest of the game, you do feel bad. Cry a bit. The other da like downside is they play a lot of those. So they yeah. play a lot of minions that. You're like saying something sniped, about dragons. There you go. Yeah, exactly. So how much with... better is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you hit him with everything and play out your filming. You're ignoring the... I suppose it could kill he... something, but... I mean, unless you do it now, you hit him with the 1-3. The chance that it either kills the 1-3, which you don't care that much about, or it hits you. Yeah, I think that's better. Two-thirds odds. Chances are, if he hits in, we could drop the it will kill wing. something. No, you don't play it yet. Because if it kills a bolt, like, come Classic. on, come on. Right, well, Classic. at least you replaced it. Um, but if it have hit the sharpshooter or your face, you're absolutely fine. Then. It's not It's not the end of the world. And you lost a... Oh, wow. Okay. He's going to feel bad when we do it again, isn't he? Getting sniped as well. Um, yeah, snipe it. As in, yeah. Then hit him with everything. And you probably ping it off. And just pray again, it doesn't kill you 3 2. Lovely. There you one go. damage to For us. One. I mean, what couldn't it have just four to us and one to the other thing would have been great? He's okay. at 16 life. This has happened very quickly. He's taking quickly, more right? damage. And we're I don't about care to go about into bombs. a big old whelp. Nope, we don't care about bombs. And you've just seen how strong big old whelp is, so let's just drop that. And swing at him. Into a fresh right, there's old there to say you could potentially have dropped out. Primordial Explorer. I don't the think it's out ping. the Zixor yet. I think um, just because you could have had the pig and keep the, the mm. grind on. But I think a 5-5 five five is way harder for him to remove than a 2-3. And he's looking for big play minions onto the board. Remove his board content. Well, that's all right. This is looking very controlly to me. It is looking like a much more controlling. But it's, it's not doing a great job of controlling, I should point out. Um, You've still I think got all secrets the, in. Yeah, I think scavenger, scavenger's ingenuity. If you can pull up face up here, drop it down, and then ping him, and get hack tactics. Of course not. Uh, well, all right, that's fine. He's got to play around it as though it's pack tactics anyway. Yeah, it's still five damage on board. Mm-hmm. Treasure. And more importantly, it's six life. All right, a fresh wrench not caliber. Not difficult to do. There's a lot of bombs in here now. We could just draw unluckily. We have, we have. We don't have enough to four. die in there. Only two bombs in there at the moment, so we could take 10. Yeah. He hit attack scan and we and take 15. What's he going to attack? He's not going to attack the 5-6, then he dies. Yeah, so he's going to attack this. We put him to 6, ping him to 4. Pull, what, Dragonbane, kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, Stormhammer, get him close to death. We've got options. Even in Prison Felmore, it's the potential of five damage. Interesting. So we can't uh, trade. He didn't um, attack. He didn't attack. Very unusual. Uh, I quite like the Zixor and just kill his guy here. Me too. Because he was, I think, trying to set that up. But this just puts Zixor Prime into our deck, which we can draw and play next turn. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we're looking to ping every turn. We need to turn his thing off. I think you just ping, swing, drop the fell wing, because it rhymes. Not all and now of those we, rhyme. And now we have pack tactics up. Yeah, exactly. Um, and also, I can't state enough how important it is that they rhymed. It's Can a, you do it again? Do it again for the audience. The it's a ping, swing, and drop the fell wing turn. 
Pink swing fell wing. Yes, a big old ten, and it's what we're calling the video. Well, that's a bold move. A brawl for two. Come on, leave the big guy. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, there man. you go. Brawling with 50-50 chance of leaving a 3-2 on the board. It's just not good odds. There we go. Nice and comfy into DOS. Diamond DOS. Diamond DOS. It's like Microsoft DOS. Da -da -da -da. That's Pentium DOS. No way. It is a Pentium DOS. I apologize. That's an older um, CPU reference. But it checks out. It does. I'm sure people will now write letters of complaint. Please address them to TBC. I don't read my mail. You don't read your mail. It's, it's usually junk mail or bills. Why would you want to read either of those? That's true. Let's yeah. Go. It's, it's, um, do you want... Well, that goes. Do you want the scavengers to do something? Probably not. Then these two seem fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're insane. It's just whether or not, like, scavengers ingenuity on two is is really not something you want to be doing, but it's a perfectly reasonable play. Mm -hmm. It's it's a strong turn, but you, you want it, like we saw in the last game, where you can pull out a uh, face stalker, drop it. We have it. A, a bunch of turn two lines. I'm going to play out the foul more. Uh, yeah, I think that's absolutely right. Yeah, I agree. You're probably not playing the dragon. You're most likely to just snipe off the guy, do some damage yeah. to him. That's Keeps nice. the board nice and narrow as well for Carissa, uh, for the Felmore to awaken into. Shadow Jeweler? Is Jula? he looking to play a secret? I think he is actually looking to play a secret. Um, I think you'd still snipe his 1-2. Because if your Felmore now awakens and eats his guy, yeah. so you're kinda... laughing. He plays one secret, the chain is quite short, just because... He needs to pull a Paladin secret and play it now. Oh, you're kidding me! You you almost thought, well, you always hit one, because you hit one of each of the other things, I think. Mm. So you usually will hit a Paladin one. Um, Noble Sacrifice? Oh! Uh, well, Into annoying. Bamboozle? No, that would have been awful. What do you reckon it is? Ambush. I reckon it's Ambush. Yeah, we can't kill this oh, guy. Oh, it's all rubbish. I think you're looking for a Stormhammer turn here. I think you just drop Stormhammer and swing at him. Because next turn you can still drop Sharp Tutor and yeah. ping and swing at his 1 5. Okay, so he's not looking for the secret chain, which means he probably pulled a rubbish secret. Which is fine. I think you just. Oh. Uh. No, I think you still stick with the plan. I think you just drop that. Ping his guy. Eat it. Oh, there we go. Ambush. You don't. You don't care about that. You eat the one five. What's the problem? The one five is the one that gives him value. That two three is not going to do anything. You probably don't play the other sharpshooter, just because he's going to hit into one. If you can kill the other. It's yeah. problematic. Whereas Agreed. you could drop this and kill his two three. Mm -hmm. it, it's not great. It's not great tempo move. He's done a good job of slowing this board down. But... Oh, that's really horrible. I pulled another rogue secret. I reckon it's another ambush. Mm. Maybe just play the primordial explorer. Because if it's a poisonous guy, the thing you don't care about seeing is a poisonous guy. Um, your hand isn't very big, so Twilight Drake's pretty rubbish. I think just take Falcon. a Spellkin. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. You could have taken Elixir just because it fills the board. That like if we're going to grind out to turn nine, it's hmm. not a great turn nine. But... Is it worth doing anything else? It all just um, dies. I mean, you could you could play the Fairy Dragon out, but. Is that a ping? I More think I prefer a ping. ping. I think I prefer a ping. Like, he's not got great life gain in the deck. They mm. may, if he's, it looks like he's either drawn... Well, has he drawn really well and had all his low end? Or is he not Highlander? That's the question you have to he's end up He's not Highlander. Himself. There you go. See, which is, improves the chance of him drawing well low end. 
So I tend to feel like if you look at a, a board set and go, have they drawn these really good cards? You could usually conclude it's probably not Highland. Um, who? No really good trades for you here at all. I think a Zixel Prime is okay. You could. Face Stalker, Sharpshooter, Zixel Prime. Yeah, no, that's ideal. I mean, I quite like the Zixel Prime Dwarven Sharp you Shooter ping, like a 2 3. Because if that Zixel Prime eats the 2 2, it's, a, it's now a 2 2. It's not easy for him to kill hmm. in terms of things because it's damaged. A Dwarven Sharpshooter and shoot one of the two threes to a two one seems fine alternatives there are fairy dragon because they trade mm -hmm. with something on the board you know but this hopefully sets up some removal so maybe the two three goes into the one three or whatever it makes the lines a little bit more awkward i'll tell you what that makes it a lot easier for them. it does indeed he's got another secret up yeah this endless chain of secrets is starting to go on and the endless train of He's going to have an endless train of dragons shortly. Oh, yeah. Lucky's for days. Um, we're well and truly not able to come back onto this board, right? Rottenest is rubbish. Big ol' Whelp is rubbish. I think you might have to play Spelk in here. I just pray for some really, really good removal on, on my spells. <laughs> it's too late for that, I think. You probably have to play it if you want to stay in this game. Of course. I think just we're, I don't think we can win this. He's got eight damage on board. Oh, I would have been tempted to play the battle mage if we want to stay in the game. Take the primordial Drake. Primordial Explorer. But I agree, I, I think agree. this game's pretty much over. I think now you've cast that tracking instead of putting the blazing battle mage down. Yes, it is. Because the battle mage at least would guess that. Um, yeah, I, don't, I think I don't regardless of choice, a 7-7 untargetable was not. I think Which the you got moment for free. he... See, it fated our guy instead of having to hit in an ambush. It really, really threw us off mm. decent traits. There was no uh, follow-up with the... So we even talked about it, right? We played out the, um, the sharpshooter in order to absorb one damage. Yes. Or absorb an attack. Deal one damage to set up the second sharpshooter to ping it off. Because then, in theory, it gets us back onto the sport. We can start clawing on. But he just ended up taking all the highest value trades. Um, I like this hand. Get back on. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Especially against what's probably face hunter. So he's got one uh, into two, into three. Well, yeah, he's going to have something. I mean, you're definitely playing the sharpshooter. And being first and playing the sharpshooter is. Yeah, he's it's horrible now... to face. It's really horrible. What does he do? He plays his own sharpshooter, we kill it. He plays a 2-2, two -two, we kill it with the ping and save our resource. There's lots of things we can do. Well, that's the thing, is we have the answers to everything. He can't even play um, Fairy Dragon because we can ping it off. Like, playing this first, it just cuts them off all their resources. You just ping him, swing at him, pass. Essentially, we're scaring him off playing his mana. Yeah. Because anything he can do for like the first couple turns, he needs to play like Zix or Prime. Or oh, whatever it's called. Is it just normal Zix? So Felmore's not good here for a while. Like, do you really care? I think just play out the Primordial Explorer. Turn off our stuff. Uh, no, because it gives you a dragon. Oh, it so gives it, us a dragon. It doesn't. It doesn't turn anything off. Um, I know you're really tempted by how, how strong a Mali is, but it doesn't hit anything else. Oh, it does eight damage. Well, it has to be down, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I think realistically you've got to take Spelkin. Alex is interesting, but it's just going to be a whale on face kind of affair. Mm. So we're going to be doing a lot of trading on the board, but I don't think Mali's, uh, not Mali, I don't think Alex is going to come into it because he probably is going to be below the, uh, 15 life. And if we yeah, have to I drop agree. Alex and make ourselves 15 life when we're ahead against a deck that could potentially blow you out, like that's. It's not comfortable. It's really not a comfortable position to be in. So he's pulled his own... Um... He is slow. He's slow onto this board. He's only hit, just hit. Corrosive breath, I'm feeling. There you go. That's fine. Dragon in hand. So he's playing a similar list to us, no doubt. Yeah. Um, I th I'm so tempted to just play Dragon Bane here. 
Well, if this hits How does it, it, kill it, it just I dies mean, if this hits it. Yeah, it's a one third chance that it does just kill it. I, I guess. don't like. <laughs> don't like it. I'd rather do that next turn. Well, then or... your only option is to storm hammer. Yeah. And swing him. Swing him, but then. Um, the downside is you really, really wanted to hit you. There's got ways of killing it. That's annoying. It's annoying. The, the upside, the upside is that we have crazy breath, right? Yes. So it's done one damage. Just put it to one spell's worth. But it's not ideal. It's not ideal, um, but it's because that was is... what was keeping off, him off spilling through a board like this. Oh, that's absolutely fine. Little does actually... he know we can blast yeah, this we're... off. Yeah, I think that's a that's more than viable. Just kill both of those and just drop the bound mage. It's huge damage to him. I'm gonna um, do I attack him first? What might it if he's playing the same list as us it'll be Yeah, attack him first just in case. Or... But just just in case, like there's no downside. It's explosive. Oh, okay. But some people I can imagine will play that or squeeze that into a list simply because um uh, Dragon Hunt uh, Demon Hunter's a thing. Demon Hunter's a thing, and that last game against the Secret Rogue had so many yeah, X1s and 2s out. And also, if you're looking to race against mm. things, having having a more aggressive Seeker out is, is pretty useful, but you really do need to be on the board to do it, and obviously he's not at the moment. Um, I mean... Do you want to roll the Dragonbane dice? Uh, yeah, I sort of feel in the Dragon Man If you hit him, he's basically dead. Just because he has to spend his turn. You just don't hit the 5-6. That's uh. the only thing. <laughs> the, uh, literally the only thing you needed to avoid is the 5-6 there. Simply because you kill the other guy, you remove his easy ways of sniping your minions coming down. Now he can throw his 5-1 into... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Stone yeah, Tusk Boar. Yeah, they've started putting that in because with um, with the scavenging ingenuity, you can pull it out. Uh, are we just dead on board? We've got a freezing trap, but it, you'll just charge in with this. Yeah. 13 damage plus the ping plus whatever this is. I wonder. You could play Spellkin. And hope you hit something that can ping off that 5 1, but. Base Stalker ping gets Freezing Trap, doesn't matter. We can Storm Hammer as doesn't well. Doesn't get you anywhere. A simple spell. This actually pulls you potential answers. So you can snipe his 5 1 with it and play your 1 2. Uh, your 1 mana 2 2. Yeah. Hmm. At least you're not dead on board. He's lower on life than you, but he still has complete control of this board. Like, he can ping that 2-2 two -two off yeah. and eat your guy, but you save 6 life. If he has, um, like, corrosive breath and can kill your 3-5 without hitting it with the 6-5... It's over. I think we're yeah, unlucky think... with the dragon, but we rolled... We aimed to roll high with the dra Oh, another one. Yeah, that's horrible. Um... I don't know if you have a single out here. If you're going to do that, you have to storm him ready, his guy. His 1 1. I come to load. Uh. Yeah. Pass. Like, you've got Bestial Wrath. If he yep. doesn't kill you this turn, could potentially kill him next turn. The thing is, if he swings it and then just still drops it. Yeah. You don't have anything on board. Oh. Uh, or he just kills you with the one bow. I mean, you were you were pretty much well behind that turn where he Yeah, we slipped board. away there. Mm. It's why I didn't like the... Uh, Back to three! Annoying. That's why I didn't like the turn where we allowed him the potential to, to kill our sharpshooter. Because mm. if you noticed... <clears throat> Sharpshooter is a one mana spell. It's a one mana card, but it's so essential in those matches. Yeah, in those yeah, mirror yeah. matches, it's so much value that you just can't get on the board if I can play two mana to kill your guy. 
Right. I'm going to take a little break because I need to re-energize. So I guess we'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, why haven't you? Apologize. Yeah, apologize in the comments and we'll like it or something. And <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see you tomorrow and uh, stay safe. See you tomorrow.